working on another quick little project. We have us a truck rim here. And we're gonna make a heavy duty burn pit out of it. So our truck rim here is about 20 and a half inches wide or crossed and comes out to about maybe 10 inches. And it's got some good sized hole in the center and then several good sized holes around the sides. But we'll put something across this main hole in the bottom here. The others we'll leave as probably vents. And it's good 3 16 to almost quarter inch steel. So should last for a minute. I got the truck rim sitting up on a block of wood. So the very bottom of it down there is about five inches off the ground. And I want to add some legs to it. So we'll probably go with about a 20 inch piece. That way I can kick out a couple little, not a couple, but little feet at the bottom. Maybe even a little foot handle type thing at the top. All right, we've got our one inch by inch and a half piece of steel. It's about 20 inches long. We've got it marked at the two and a half inch line the 10 inch line in the middle and then two and a half inch on the other end and we're gonna bend it up a bit with our bender here and I use our speed square to make sure it's square real quick and on our line and then add our dial indicator and bend it down to about where we want Alrighty, and our foot bend, or our first bend, will bring down to around the 20 degree mark. Alright, there's what our first foot little looks, our first little foot looks like. And then I put her back down in the bender here, right down to the line. I'll get our dial indicator on here, and then we'll bend this one. All right, looks to have that one just about 50. <clears throat> All right, we got that one down to just about 10. Oh, well, there's our leg. It'll be about, about like that. Alright, now we've got our four legs together. Get them up on our rim here, make some marks, and clean them up a bit for welding. And I would say we're going to mount them down about like this. This will be the bottom foot. We'll have the bottom of it about three inches off the ground. And then we'll have a bit of a top surface once we're done. Alrighty, I got all our spots cleaned up pretty good. Just got to clean up our legs a little bit now. I have all four legs cleaned up in all three welding spots. And it should go just about like that. And we will get it welded there, there, and there on both sides of all four legs. Alright, using the speed square to square our leg up here a little bit. Got her clamped at the top. Now I got it squared up. I'll clamp it at the bottom. And we'll tack it down and double check it. 
We've got all our legs welded on good and solid. Three spots on each side and across the top on all legs. It's nice and level. And like I said, we should be able to set a grate or something across the top here. Well, I've got our fire pit pretty much done. Got the legs on it. Folded some covers over the big holes inside. I've got a piece of Almost eighth inch thick. We'll put it in the bottom and it'll cover the big hole and most of the little holes and have a little bit for vents, I guess you would say. And there's our fire pit. Sprayed it with some high temperature like barbecue black paint on the outside here, mainly to seal up our legs and our welds. I don't, the inside will take care of itself.